What's up, uh, people? We have another brew day ahead of us. Uh, it's a beautiful day outside. If you take a look, there's my yard. Uh, I got a little bit new equipment. Uh, I got the old uh, sanitizing burner. Then I got this uh, new turkey fryer, which we're going to be doing. It's got a nice spout on it. That's going to help with this all grain. Uh, looks like we're going to be doing Carolina Reaper. Look at those danger warnings. And uh, we're going to be doing a Carolina Reaper sculpin with uh, cactus and mango flavor. And here's our hops. All right. I'm going to boil this water. I'll see you in a bit. You're going? Yep. All right, we got our greens and we got our uh, dad just bring it over here and show the temperature right here. We got our temperature, put it over here, serve them the bag. We're about to drop these greens in. So, here's Ricky, Ricky. Hold the bag. Hold the bag. Hold the bag open, Ricky. All right. So, basically, in this step, we're going to be uh, steeping these greens. Uh, dump these in here Ricky's gonna hold the bag and we'll get back to you here and uh, shortly uh, cut these smells like cereal yeah that's what it is is that your camera or my camera Both. Oh, shut one two three all right we've been uh, holding the, or steeping these greens right here getting closer so that they can see the color of this. We can take a so we're doing a 45 minute edition steep, full grain, and uh, we're gonna rinse these grains here in about 15 minutes. Uh, Ricky, how would you explain the smell of this? I can't really get a good explanation. Uh, so get it down there and smell it good. Oh yeah, it's got a real nice, uh, Toasty oatmeal cornbread sort of scent going on. It's real nice. Well, I, I couldn't explain it, but Ricky hit the nail on the head with that one. But uh, we'll see you guys here in about 15 minutes when we uh, rinse these grains off. I'll show you how we're going to do that. All right, we're ready to start uh, rinsing these bad boys or sparging these grains. We got our turkey fryer piece uh, hooked upside down and I've got my temperature of my water right here sitting at 161 which will do for me so we're gonna dip this in here and Ricky if you don't mind open up that bag it's kind of holding it steady all right I'm gonna kind of bring it down towards the end so I can fold fold it like uh, Perfect. So I can get up in there. Alright, watch your hands. Just gonna rinse these grains. Get that nice drip going. Coming down there, nice funnel this. Yeah, this is a uh, Gonna take about 10 minutes but we're gonna rinse all these grains and then we're gonna start this boil ricky explain to us what the smell of this thing smells like right now take a whiff of it sort of like a uh, granola bar damn you hit the, that was perfect that is a granola bar smell Woo! that does smell good though so uh We'll come back to you when we add our first edition of hops and get this bad boy up to a boil. What are we adding? All right, so we can stir it up, stir it up too. What we're gonna do before the sucker gets to a boil is we're gonna add a pound of honey, give it that extra honey kick. The yeast will probably eat this up, but it, the, the little bit they don't eat up, it's gonna give that wild flavor honey taste. So this is a two-pound batch. We're gonna drop half of it in there. Squeeze this bottle. 
That much more. Uh, boiling's about 212 and uh, once we get to boiling we're, we want to add our first addition of hops which is uh, we're going with Apollo hops uh, it's a similar hop they use for the habanero sculpin which is, we're not using habaneros we're using the most deadly pepper known to mankind get a close up on those bad boys turn around and that's going to be in the final turn around edition. Final edition, but uh, get a close up on those how wrinkly they look. Um, yeah, so first edition here. The water gets up to 212. Well, we're going to add it just a hair before so we don't get the hot break. And the hot break, basically, what that is, is uh, when the water boils over. So we're going to want to catch it right before the water boils over for these Apollos. So we're adding our first edition of hops. Ricky, come over here and take a whiff of these bad boy. We are using Apollos. Tell them what you think it smells like. I dropped them in this muslin bag here. Yeah, get close up on the smell. See, we're about to approach this hot break. Right, look at that foam build up right there, boy. Ooh wee. We are close to takeoff, boys and girls, and we do not want this to boil over. All right, so we're gonna just stir these up in here while we stir that up. I'm going to go ahead and crank the temperature down because well, it is this way. I wanna get through this hot break. You're gonna take your temperature down a little bit. So I, I describe the smell of the uh, Apollo hops as more of a citrusy, danker smell. Uh, what did you say it was, Ricky? I'd say it has sort of a sort of a uh, Raymond seasoning. Smell, smell how it is when I've mixed it in with this. Smell this right here. Smell it, smell the hot bag. What does it smell like now? It smells good. It smells really good. <laughs> it smells really good. It's got that dank, man. It's got that dankiness, but that dank citrusness. But uh, we'll see you guys here in about we're doing a 60 minute bowl, so in 45 minutes we're gonna drop a warp lock in, and then after that we are going to uh, add our last addition of hops, which is gonna be the Reapers, the Cactus Powder, and uh, Bravo hops, so see you in a bit. All right guys, it's time to add this warp lock tablet to help clear this beer up, but first, Ricky, grab your beer. From the kitchen sink, Glasses to cling. Cheers. Ricky, throw that work block tablet in. All right, I'm gonna give her a good stir and then we're gonna we're gonna talk about this next edition of hops. In the peppers, Ricky, take a whiff and explain what the smell is like. It actually smells really, really sweet, like, almost like a uh, sugary tomato. You, you willing to try just a piece off the end? Nah. <laughs> I'll try a piece. Again? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> so what we're gonna do is we're gonna add one little of these bad boys to a five gallon batch in the last hop edition. What time is it, Dad? 4.16. 4.16. We're gonna mix these with the Bravos. Alright. And we'll get a smell of that here in about 10 minutes or so. Get a close up on that pepper. <laughs> I got you joking to death on there. Ooh, that'll that'll peel the oil right off the pavement right there, boy. Alright, see you in a bit. I'm cutting these up. Alright, so this step we're gonna go ahead and put our chiller in to get it uh sanitized with a bowl and water. So we just drop this in here like this. And uh, we're gonna ask our last addition of hops, which Ricky's got the Bravo explain what the smell is like. Uh, it smells like the Apollo, but with uh, a little bit more zest. You know, let me see it. I think, personally, I think it smells very similar to the Apollo, with a very, like, dank citrus, but this one's got more of an earthy tone, I believe. Usually they use this for bittering, but you can also use it for flavor hops, which I'm doing because I'm using the hot peppers, and it's really getting situate that hot pepper flavor as long as, along with the cactus. So let's drop this hot bag in. Oh, that's my hand, sorry. <laughs> it's got the hot peppers in there. Uh, let's go ahead and drop her in there. Mix it in nicely. Ooh. Ricky? Give that a scent. Give it a smell. Smell it. Yeah. What do I you, smell what it now. What does it smell like? That that stuff. You got your so hand. It's a little bit more of a robust flavor now to it. Uh, a little bit more dense, I'd say. With a hot pepper in it. All right. Well, we're gonna right now. We're gonna add these. Uh, uh, yeah, let it boil for a minute. I thought. Yeah. But I'm gonna add this uh, cactus. Right now? Yeah. It's 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. We're gonna add, this is four ounces. We're gonna add two ounces of uh, no pell cactus or prickly pear cactus. It's uh, very, very good for you. This is gonna tone down the peppers just a notch. So I'm gonna add, once I get this thing open, I'm gonna add half of this. How's the water supposed to go through it? Oh, I gotta, I gotta hook it up to the hose. Yeah. And what is it gonna blow out there? You make water? You can make a I'm big puddle? Cooler. I'll show you that here in a second. The address. You know what? I just hit the floor with it. I sucked as a cameraman. I'm not looking too well. Sorry. But I'm getting better. Are you still recording? Yes. Uh, Roughly did two ounces of uh, prickly pear cactus. And next step is I'm going to show you my new chiller. Move this thing closer. Yeah. Move this thing closer. Alright, you want to hold it? Watch this. There you go. Move it right there. They got you showing that you. You empty it out so the dog walks out through it. I'm just using it so it cools, cools the water coming in and goes through the coil and then goes out the other end. Oh, are you going to turn it off once it cools off? Nah, I'll just let it run over. It's going to be cold water. Off or on? I'm just Alright, coming a little bit closer. I'm going to show you uh, what we got going on here. Alright, so I put 
filled this up with ice and I kind of cooled the uh, hose a little bit to get that cooling. I got the uh, the wart chiller in there, so I'm about to crank the hose on and uh, in 15 minutes, she gets down to temperature. I'm, I'll get back to you. What's the temperature now? Uh, it's 167. Check it out. 212 and 167 in like two seconds. Drop fast. Look at that, look at how. Boomer. Why don't you so, put it over that way? Never mind. Before in lot. the meantime, we're going to go uh, get our ready for fermentation. All right, here is the finished product. The cactus didn't dissolve as I like, but I filtered all most of it out. Let that head go down a little bit before I pitch this yeast. Uh, that's what she's looking like. I mean, she got real bubbly. Toss her back and forth. Let's go ahead and get these hydrometer readings. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, got a good spin. Looks like we're sitting at. Uh, one point. Zero. Right, hold on. A lot of foam. <sighs> Why can't I finish on that side? 1.04 So we got about a 5% beer. Not bad. Not bad for a nail. A little bit darker. All right, we'll see you when the fermentation is bubbling. Ricky, we'll be for tastings. Do you have any conclusions? Well, see you in a little while. There you go. All right, so it looks like we're sitting at 68. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Temperature sitting at 68. Boom. It's time to push the yeast, so. Got a yeast over here and a sanitizer. Scissors. Ah. You want to sanitize that yeast packet. Cut it off the corner there. And that's it. Well, pop this top on there. How many hours? Say what? How many hours that top had to stay on? Uh, two weeks. I just wanted to add a quick note. Uh, always test your beer before, after. It's good no matter what. Wow. I'm gonna dry hop it with a little, one more pepper to give it just a little bit more kick. But damn, that's good. Always try before, always try your after, even if it's not carbonated or alcohol or whatever. That's gonna turn out to be good.
Hey everybody, uh, we are 40 hours in and we have an extremely active fermentation. I think it's because I put a little bit more than 5 gallons in there. I had a couple blow-offs. I had to clean it out. Put some more sanitizer in there. I put a little sanitizer around the rim right there. Just in case there's any leaks, it'll just the CO2 will blow that same type of deal as this rig right here. It'll let the CO2 out, but not let the oxygen in around that little seal. But uh, it's super active. It blew off on me already, so um, that yeast is just uh, it's doing its work. But uh, I'll see you guys here in a week and about five days when we bottle this bad boy all right everyone looks like we had a little bit of a bubble over um good thing i caught it in time before it made a humongous mess but uh you can see i just uh i rigged this up uh you see it bubbling off the end there so we're safe to go i put it in a, a thing and uh i'll explain to you how i uh made the connection uh ricky closer So basically this piece right here, all right, so I kind of messed up. I thought I could uh, run the hose that's made for the uh, for the bottling through this top piece right here. So I cut it, it didn't work. This this hose down here is actually the bigger end. So what you do is you, you trim the end of the hose off and then you can make the uh, drink the, uh, the filler hose up halfway and then plug the other end in and just run your end down. And uh, that's it. So that's how you handle a little bubble over. I think we filled it up too much, but uh, me and Ricky will be here for bottling next week, or two weeks, sorry, later.